I'm going to be showing the insertion of a uh, Alcon SN60WF uh, lens through uh, two millimeter or less incision. All the surges were done with a uh, bimanual uh, using Ozil. As you can see, the wound there was just about at two millimeters. This first lens that I injected was a, a 10 Doppler lens, so it's uh, a smaller size. The cartridge, the D cartridge used and put right up to the wound. Connor traction is applied. I'm sorry, we didn't get a good video right here of the center. After insertion, and removed the viscoelastic. The wound measures uh, over 2 millimeters, but under 2.2, around 2.1. The rest of the lenses are between uh, 18 and 23 doctors. This is right after the bimanual incision. Uh, the wound size should be around a 1.7 or so. A diamond blade is used to just slightly enlarge the wound. The wound is uh, just about one nine. The lens uh, again is injected right in using the D cartridge. In this particular case, the uh, haptics stuck together. We're going to use a Kuglin to uh, un uh, un unstick the haptics. The wound uh, measures uh, um, just about two. Again, we enlarge the wound again. about a is uh, after insertion was about a 1.9. Here I'm using a metal keratome. I believe it was a 1.9 keratome. Measures just a shade under 2. The lens almost didn't go in right at the end. Uh, there wasn't sufficient contraction and the cartridge uh, pulled away from the wound a little bit. The wound is about a 2-1 after insertion. But
Again, we use a 1-9 keratone. So, 1-9 incision. This case didn't go all the way in. Uh, the mistake was letting uh, the cartridge pull out from the wound rather than maintaining constant pressure. But we use a forcep and get it in the rest of the way. I believe we, as we get more experience, this will be easier to do. This uh, 